Hey, everybody. Our elders have given the leaders of Mountain City Church an opportunity to respond to four questions in an effort to encourage you, the saint, and to give glory to God. Um, the four questions I have, I hope to answer today, is what God has called me to do. How have I witnessed the Lord's work through those that serve? To share how I have been a part of seeing the gospel shared with someone. And lastly, how can I encourage you to be part of serving on the guest care and hospitality team? Uh, may Christ be glorified through the words that follow, but I'm not going to apologize for any tears. Um, so God has given us at Mountain City Church a sweet opportunity and privilege to serve and love fellow saints, guests, and angels unaware. And he has given me the blessing of serving alongside brothers and sisters week in and week out. I would argue that guest care at Mountain City Church is one of the most enjoyable and vital areas of ministry that involve meeting new people, sharing encouragement and joy, inspired by God. This past year, our Father God has called over 200 uh, individuals, families, maybe someone that you know, to come and hear uh, Christ's hope here at Mount City Church. Now, 76 of those individuals and families showed us grace by allowing us to follow up with them, um, either by email, a text, a phone call, a card, a postcard, but the best yet is an in-person gathering. I praise God for allowing me to witness that he has been working through all those that serve in weakness because it's difficult uh, to be vulnerable um, to someone that we don't know or have never seen before. Um, but I don't want you to miss this because behind the heart of those that are serving is letting you know that God cares for you and he knows you by name. Why? Because you were called to be here. Maybe it was one Sunday. Maybe it's several years. But I, um, I want you to remember that whenever we fail to remember or struggle at words um, and are awkward in our actions, but the heart is God cared for you today. So I would encourage you sitting here today to flip that on its head and invite those that serve you out for dinner or a cup of coffee and hear how God has worked in their life. Get to know them because ultimately we want to build relationship with God and glorifying him, but we want to bring someone with us. Um, I want to lose my notes. Um, our church has been praying for a young lady named Laura, who's been visiting and attending uh, Mountain City Church since 2021 and during um, her education here at FSU. And her parents had visited her one Sunday earlier this year. And when our guest team member reached out to her mother uh, through an email, asked how she could be praying and her Laura's mom responded um, that her daughter had had a sporting accident and they were very concerned about her surgery and what lied ahead for her and had asked us to pray and our guest team member continued to keep in touch with Laura's mother and pass along updates as to her recovery and together we praise God the healer uh, for her recovery and to be honest, I don't know Laura that well. Uh, we've had very few conversations of encouragement, but joy-filled smiles and hugs uh, when she returned to worship with us. But one Sunday, I got to be the recipient of hearing the gospel message because Laura got to testify to me of God's faithfulness to her during that season of surgery and recovery. And she shared that Christ revealed to her what she was holding on to most 
and where she found identity. And she has ex expressed to me her thankfulness to Christ for his work and her life and the ability to be a recipient of forgiveness and grace. And I share that because Christ did not give us saints the spirit of fear to be alone in our relationship and pursuing him. If I had not made myself available and be present in that situation, I would have missed the blessing in hearing her story of Christ work in her life and her development or <laughs> sanctification uh, with Christ. And um, so how can you join us in the work of developing relationships for Christ? Um, come serve. <laughs> um, say hello. Make breakfast. Pray with someone. Call. Meet a stranger. Make room for love and relationship because Christ first did it for you. And so how you, can you be praying for us? Pray that we serve joyfully and pursue Christ mightily and be vulnerable to begin new relationships and proclaim the gospel together. Thank you.